Hello everyone. Today we are going to create Mughal architecture. So let's start by making fencing of the wall first. For that, take a cube, resize it using scale tool. Now go to the edit mode, choose face select, press ctrl R, divide it into three parts. Now choose Viewpoint shading. Now from, from, from the front face, select the upper face. Select the middle face now. Press the shift key and we'll have to select as I'm, as I'm selecting it in the video. Right? After selecting, use the scale tool and bring edges nearer. But please make sure that they don't cross each other. Now select the top face and bring the lines closer using the scale tool. After going back in the viewpoint shading, go to the modifier, click on add modifier, choose array. Now set value of the array. Okay, we'll uh, make the factor x 0 and y 1. Okay, so they come adjacent to each other and set the value of the array as per your requirement. Let's choose 7. Alright, so 7 fences are here. Okay, you can keep increasing the number as per your requirement. Now, let's create a dome-like structure. So, for that, go to the object mode. And as we all know that dome looks like a hemisphere. So, to create the dome, We'll take UV sphere first. So go to add, mash and choose hemisphere. Just click on add UV sphere and from here in segments choose 16 and in rings choose 18. Alright, 8. After that, okay. Now use the scale tool and increase the size. To x, y, z axis, make it 3. Right? After that, choose viewpoint shading to display the object as wire edges. Choose the front face. Go to the edit mode first and choose the front face. Now select bottom half of the hemisphere. Right click and choose dissolve faces option. Now your hemisphere is ready. Alright, to make it look like a dome, first of all place the hemisphere like this as I am showing you in the video. After that, choose the edge select. Select the middle portion of it. And then, alright, it's done. After that, set it properly. Now we'll use the same dome structure to create a minaret. For that, select the bottom edge of it. Okay. Now extrude it along the z-axis. Using the scale tool. All right. It's ready. Now, by using this structure, we'll create a minaret and a gate. For creating the minaret, first duplicate it, then resize it by making its x and y axis to 1.5. Now, we'll choose a cylinder to add, mash, and take a cylinder. And insert it in such a way that one minaret is in center. Resize it to x and y axis as 1.75. Okay, and then copy paste or duplicate and bring it to the bottom. Alright, Ctrl C, Ctrl V and 
Okay. Now, design of the minaret is ready. Now, to create the gate, take a cube, resize it using the scale tool. We'll increase the height and width of it to give it a shape of a gate. Now, we'll bring it in such a way that it enters half inside the cube. And we'll see it from all the angles. It should properly come in the center. If we see it from the back, it is not very clearly visible. So we'll use the scale tool and we will increase the size of it. Size. Right? As you can see, now it is visible at the back also. Now, we'll select the dome and then select the dome. Uh, okay. Uh, as say, as I have told you in the previous video that the child body should be selected first and then the parent body. Now go to the edit option, choose bool tool, click on difference and say apply all. Now your gate is ready. Alright, children so basic structures are ready. Now in the next video we will we'll learn how to arrange all these to make proper structures.